In this video I will show how to use PyTorch Android API in Android Studio and create an image classification Android app using pre-trained MobileNet V2 model. This video assumes you have basic knowledge of PyTorch, if not please go through some basic PyTorch tutorials. First we need to get the pre-trained ImageNet model, for this you will need a Python environment with PyTorch and Torch Vision installed in it. I will link some resources for those who are not familiar with it so that they can properly install PyTorch and continue with this tutorial. I will be using a Jupyter Notebook, for those who do not have Jupyter installed, run the same code in Python file. First starting with importing required module, that is, Torch, Torch Vision, and Mobile Optimizer. Also print the Python version being used. As you can see I am using Torch 1.10, you can use another version but keep the version used in mind. Then start with getting pre-trained MobileNet V2 from Torch Vision, this will download it if not already present. Then use JIT.trace to wrap complete PyTorch neural network module and the pre-trained weights. Optimize for mobile, and finally save the output. This will generate a model.ptl file containing everything required to run it on Android. Now create a new Android Studio project, select Empty Activity, configure it accordingly, and then click on Finish. Go to build.gradle of the app, and in Dependencies section add the implementation to load PyTorch Lite libraries for Android, note that set the version to the version used to export the model from Python, for example, if your Python PyTorch version is 1.10.2 then use 1.10.0 version in Android. Do the same for Torch Vision keeping the PyTorch and Torch Vision version same. For this tutorial I will be using Android X camera to get camera frames and perform recognition on it. For this also include the Android X camera libraries in dependencies. I will be using the 1.1.0 beta version, you can use another version but this version seems to work properly for our purpose. After that go to Android Manifest and add permissions for camera. Now 
Now go to your layout definition and include Android X camera view covering whole screen, also set its ID, as this is where the camera feed will be shown. Also add the ID for text view and do some changes for better visibility. This are all Android related stuff, if you need more information on them please go through corresponding tutorials for them. Then create an assets folder and add your model.ptl file there. Go to mainactivity.java, create a camera provider future, also create variable to access camera preview and text view defined in layout definition. First we need to get camera access, create a method that checks whether camera permission is granted. If not then request the camera permission inside on create. Then request the camera provider from camera provider future and add listener to get the result of this request, here if camera provider is initialized then start the camera. Create a method start camera, which will take camera provider as input. First create a preview. Then specify the desired camera lens facing option. Connect the preview to the surface provider of preview view. Finally bind the selected camera and the preview to the lifecycle. Call the start camera inside listener of camera provider future passing camera provider as input. Build the app.
In the screen you can see the camera preview. Now that we have camera frames, we need to pass this to loaded PyTorch model. For this we need image analysis. The image analysis provides a CPU accessible image on which you can perform image processing, computer vision, or machine learning inference. Inside the start camera method, first initialize and build image analysis, setting the target resolution, and in non-blocking mode. Then create an image analysis analyzer. First pass the new single thread executor as input, then image analysis.analyzer interface, which will call the analyze method every frame, analyze receives image proxy every frame which is essentially a wrapper for camera image. Also bind the image analysis to the lifecycle. Now we create a method to load the PyTorch module which takes name of the file as input. Here first create a file to access module file. Create a variable to hold the PyTorch module. Check if the model file exists, if not then copy the same to specified location from assets, and finally load it using light module loader. Call the same from on create passing the model file name as input. Create a method analyze image that takes image proxy and rotation as input. Here first convert the image proxy image to PyTorch tensor input tensor. Pass the input tensor to forward of loaded PyTorch module getting the result in output tensor. Convert the output tensor to float array which is essentially the scores of 1000 classes on which ImageNet is trained on. From all scores select the class index with maximum score, this should be your detected class. As mentioned ImageNet has 1000 classes, classes list can be downloaded from here as a txt file. Move this file to the assets folder. Create a method load classes that takes path of classes file in assets and output the classes stored in it as a list of strings.
Read the file using buffer reader and input stream reader. For each line add the class label to classes list. Create a list of string to store the classes, then call the load classes method from onCreate. Now inside the analyze image method get the class label from classes list with max scores. Output the same as Android log. And inside the UI thread set the text of text view to the class label. Remember to call this analyze image method inside the analyze of image analysis analyzer passing the image proxy and rotation as input. Now run the app. In the screen shown is the camera view and the detected label for the same. Now if shown image of Husky it detects and shows the corresponding class label. Same for this image of Frog.